Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video and today we're going to create this image over here. Uh, this image is based on a reference that I took from Pinterest. So this is the reference, this is the render, final render. And we have a lot to discuss, um, especially because we're going to create this scene from scratch. All right. So we're going to texture, we're going to light, we're going to place the camera we're going to i'm going to show you how i prop it uh the best way to do that also um of course i'm not going to model everything the props i'm going to use uh props that i already have in my library but i'm gonna show you um how easy way to do scenes all right so we're going to play create it i think in two hours so this scene, this video actually will be split in two uh first the first one is going to be the modeling the propping and basically that and the second one then we're going to light then we're going to texture and going to do the rest of uh of the image all right and last but not least uh Archivisual is giving a big discount um between this week and the next one so stay tuned actually you can check out um the discount on the website www.archivisual.com um you can check the entire course over there um it's a huge course i have already talked about it in them in other videos uh but go there check it out uh definitely gonna like it if especially if you are interested in learning more about octane render this is definitely a full course about octane and blender so definitely it's going to help you guys that need to like understand a little bit more about octane and also how to create amazing images uh to compete in the market all right so check it out uh also let me know your comments if you have like any questions please uh email me or comment down below i'll be glad to answer all right so let's get started you guys so here i have my reference and of course, I'm not going to copy exactly uh, all the same stuffs that we have here. I'm going to replace, for example, the chair, uh, some of the props over here. Uh, try to keep the tree and let's model uh, the fences as well. So also the lamps, something I'm going to keep, but some I'm going to replace it. Okay, so I'm going to open my connector. Uh, this tool is very, it's a very nice tool. Uh, I think I have already talked about it, but it helps to organize your library. So I'm going to choose actually this chair, this armchair over here. Um, let me place it here. All right, fine. Um, let me see scale. Just okay. That's that's okay. I'm going to duplicate. Actually, I'm going to hide this um this guy over here, and I'm going to duplicate it. All right. So let's just. Uh, rotate it a little bit something like that so in this first step actually we are going to just create a very uh, rough uh, sketch of this entire scene so I'm going to start placing some objects drawing some some elements so right now let's actually create the floor so as you can see here we have um three kind of floors so we have the stone so then we have uh the grass then we have the soil um so i'm going to go to the edit mode and going to place the vertex uh something around here right i'm going to extrude it to something like this and extrude again to something like this then we can adjust it later on just to have like something 
uh, here. So I'm going to extend it, extrude actually it again. And here quite the same thing. All right. So the idea here is like here we have the stone, the stone, the, the stone part, and then we have the soil like over here. We can already like separate it, but I think we can keep it. Uh, we can keep it as it is for now. Then we adjust it later on. All right, so perfect. So let's create this fancy over here. Then we can create the other one, the small one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to draw um, a cube over here. Let's extrude it, something like this. All right. Um, maybe it's too thick. So let's adjust the size something like this um i have a camera over here so i think you can place it in the right position um something like this i'm going to adjust actually my resolution to something like that i'm going to uh put the camera up a little bit so the idea here is just like frame the image so and see also what we have to model as well so this is another good point so oh like most of the time when i start like doing scenes like that when i like don't have the reference of like the other the other side um or sometimes the client just want like exactly how it is like how they are seeing it um i usually try to place the camera like first and then i start modeling uh based on what i'm seeing right so i don't need to like waste time modeling the rest of it so uh that's a good tip i think so okay so let me do something like that i'm going to adjust the size of this fancy um right let's reduce a little bit here on the x-axis something like that i'm going to apply a bevel to it all right so 10 centimeter i think it's too much like one centimeter i think 0 0.5 is more than enough all right so i'm going to apply it uh let's open the uv so i i don't need to like be worried about that later on so all right so i'm going to duplicate it pressing alt d all right so if you press shift r it's going to duplicate in the same position so All right, something like that, maybe a little bit more, and you can adjust it to something like this, maybe. All right. I think the first part's already done. <laughs> um, all right, so let's also place I think I have a, a tree for that. So let me see if I can find it. Um, I think I have a tree for from Evermotion. That's going to fit very well. I think this one here. Let me see. I'm going to append it to my scene, All right? Okay, here it is. 
Um, so I'm going to just actually group these these guys over here. Um, I'm going to put it here on props, so it's going to be easier. This one's the tree, right? So this one can delete. Um, let me create a um, collection for the chairs. Same thing here for these ones as well. All right, so tree. Let me create a collection for trees as well. So I think you're going to have a lot of collections from now on. So, all right, so camera, let's put camera. Oh, this camera, I think, came with the trees. So I'm going to delete it. Plane, it's going to be in the archy uh collection oh yeah all right so let's actually um connect all the textures i have like this add-on let's search for like textures that's missing and i'm going to actually find the missing textures all right so let's see if we can find it so um all right here we go so this tree came in cycles and i'm going to convert it to octane all right and i'm going to adjust adjust the size and going to get into my camera and also just the position of this tree over here something like that let's see uh, another thing that I'd like to do is actually if you go here to camera and here on viewport display i ha you have this like pass pass part out so if you increase it um you can keep only like the framing like like that it's easy to like compose your scene i think all right so i'm going to add on hdri so just want to see if the texture of this tree is in a good shape so um i think i have a hdri clown one this one here i use it uh, sometimes all right so let's render it um i'm going to increase a little bit my exposure this is going to be um overcast scene so we can bring the chairs a little bit up forward so the um, textures of this tree is not that bad but we can adjust it but um i think we're not going to adjust it right now i'm going to just place everything so that actually it's going to be probably a long um a long journey in this video and i'm going to divide it in two so i'm going to place everything here and then we can start working on the textures and and the lighting on another another video all right so let's keep uh putting some other vegetations and the props as well all right so here i have um some more trees that probably we're going to add uh on this area over here so i'm going to actually 
extrude this part a little bit more and I'm going to detach it from the other part so like this um, it's going to be easy to scatter the trees over here right I'm going to do the same thing for this part over here as well so these three parts here is going to be the soil and I'm going to separate it and these three parts over here is going to be the stones and this part over here is going to be the grass all right all right so let's um model this other fancy um over here so it's an old fence so i'm going to do the same thing maybe we can uh, we can just like duplicate this one over here and let's adjust it I'm going to add an edge in the middle and here I'm going to select it all right yeah not that bad it was easiest than I thought so <laughs> just kidding uh let's add some uh new edges uh over here and other one here another one here all right so um I'm going to just adjust them pivot and i'm going to duplicate it as well and i'm going to duplicate again and let's make some random imperfections all right so i'm going to select this part over here and bring it here this one bring it um upwards this one backwards a little bit maybe to the right all right so let's do the same thing for this one over here um i'm going to select this part here i'm going to bring it upwards and maybe to the left this one here backwards and this one here backwards as well also let's bring it to the right yeah something like that all right so let's do the same thing for this one um this one i'm going to bring it uh, up and let's put it here bring this part backwards and this part over here something like that all right um maybe to the left all right so i think we have something uh it's not it's not bad um and you're going to texture it as well so let's open the uvs all right so same thing for this one all right and same thing for this one all right so let's make a connection between them so let's add a cube um it's too big and let's adjust it to something like something like this all right um let's adjust the the height i think it's too too high all right i'm going to apply um all transforms to it and 
let's put it backwards so something like this all right so let's add some some edges as well i think one is enough so we can use this one here and this one this one something like maybe no yeah let's just keep this one like this all right because this one here is going to connect to the other one so it's going to be easier the connection all right um i'm not going to add like any bevel it's not necessary so because it's not like it's not going to be visible so let's see if we can um i'm going to join it let's see if we can duplicate it all right yeah we need a little bit more um of this this cube need to bring it a little bit um to the right something like this all right so um let's try again here we go okay so i'm going to press actually i'm going to do, i have to do it again um alt d and then connect it here and then press shift shift r all right so here we go yeah maybe it's a little bit too <laughs> too messy um so we can work um let's work with some of them like this one all right and this one here all right and maybe this one here so just let just select this this vertex again these vertices actually um let's adjust it again something like that all right not that bad so let me see Let me select everything here let's put them here and i'm going to duplicate it again to this to this side and let's go back to the camera my camera actually uh we need to adjust it a little bit so I'm going to try to frame it a little bit better. All right. Here we go. all right i'm going to adjust actually the rotation using uh the transformations over here so it's going to be easier so this one i'm going to put 90 0 and z something like this all right and i think i have to adjust the position of the fences just a bit something like this all right so not that bad this 
tree over here maybe it's too low let's just bring it up a little bit oh yeah here we go and i think we can close um this area over here i'm going to duplicate it and make kind of a box all right let's do something like that all right so this part's going to be like an isolate part i don't know uh we can see it later on so all right so let's see if we can add some uh some trees uh i have one here actually i have several ones i'm going to add first this one over here let's append it to our scene sometimes it i think i have a red like um told you about that but um as i'm using like connector like um in, in my server and my server is on the cloud it sometimes take a little longer to load um all the files um but here it is um all right so let me position it here actually we're going to scatter it later on so um i'm going to add a new one maybe oops this one over here i think i'm going to add i don't know maybe three or four different kind of trees so but we don't need this part um let me scale it down all right I'm going to bring you want this one here all right so let's scale it place it around here all right let's see if we can find another one Oh, let me show you what I'm seeing. Because I have like three screens, so it was on the other screen. So, all right. So let's add this uh, this plant over here as well. So this is like the way I usually start creating like exteriors. I choose um the trees the vegetation i want to use and i place them close to my scene then after that i usually convert everything and use like the scatter add-on to distribute it so we're going to do that um in a second actually a lot of camera when i import like objects from my library i have to clean actually the entire library because it's a little bit kind of a mess uh as you can see i have to rescale it because my converter actually is um it's in scaling it up so i need to adjust it so it's being a pain ass but uh it's working fine for now so all right so let's take a look uh if we can find another one i think i have some uh grass over here yeah so let's add some uh, 
some of these ones. Adjust the scale again. All right. Oops. Here. All right. So let's add the grass as well. So I'm going to add this one over here. All right. All right. So now it's a mess. <laughs> um, and select everything. I'm going to rescale it. Let's place it here. All right, so I think we have like a good start for now. All right, I think I found uh, some more vegetations. Uh, this one over here, I'm going to place it uh, probably around here. But of course I need to remove the face, but I think it's going to fit, so. Okay, so select it. Going to clean it up. All right, so I'm going to place it here. And I go, I think it's going to fit, but maybe we can like later on, like change it. Uh, I don't know. Just maybe. I'm going to use it for now. All right. All right, so I have, I think, another one um, that I'm going to use. It's this one over here. Again, I don't have like uh, the same vegetation, but um, I'm going to use like some try to use something not similar but that still good you know um because it's difficult to find good vegetations and and still we have like this lack of good props for octane uh, it helps a lot, right? <laughs> um, all right, so <laughs> let's place it. I'm going to place it here. Something like that. All right. Um, let me see if I can have another one. It's difficult to find some good ones. All right, so let's just scatter what we have here. Then later on, let's like find more props to it. So first I have my grass over here. I'm going to decrease a little bit the size of it. 
and we're going to scatter it over here right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to apply an auto form like to to this grass and also to this plane over here oops i think the best thing to do here um supply an auto form to all of it mm. Maybe that was not a good idea. All right, so let's apply this guy over here, and let's place the pivot to the right position. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select uh, my plane and select the vegetation I want to scatter. I'm going to select um, this guy here and scatter objects. All right, so let's adjust the distribution. We can increase it here. All right. Maybe, let's see here. Let's change to this one over here because there is a need to like Build this part over here and really don't want to do that right now so let's use this one over here let's scatter again and all right here we go so now we have like our grass uh it's already like in place and you can use here i think it's visibility no display so display as ah uh, kind of grass maybe and maybe it's too too much but still i don't know uh i think it's good is it good um it's good all right so let's do the same thing for the trees so i'm going to scatter this this tree trees um here all right so i'm going to select the three of them and then apply an all transform um place the pivot to the bottom all right so here we go and let's do the same thing here all right and Let's use this plane, this plane first, and then um, let's add our template. So I'm going to use this one over here and scatter objects. All right. So let me see what's going on. Something is wrong. So let me delete this guy over here. Um, I'm going to try to apply another template just to see what's going on. All right. So if I increase it, all right. Okay, so I'm going to delete it and let's select these three ones and let's do it again. All right, I don't know what happened, but so I'm going to add more and more. I'm going to do the same thing like for visibility display as yes. and let's add kind of like trees over here all right and you can increase like this scale it's too much i think okay um maybe this one yeah it's a little better oops i changed my camera uh, all right 
so let me lock it again so we can work again later on um maybe just for now i'm going to just display um let's display them the trees as it is so it's going to be easy to to see like how it's going to be right so all right so. all right you have to work on this but yeah not bad let's just render to see what like what we have here um i know that we are going to work on them on the rendering before actually after um but just to see how it is right now and if you need to add like more vegetation i don't think we need to add more vegetation uh maybe like in this area over here right so i think it's more than enough all right okay so let's adjust this um these trees over here we have uh this feature called offset that we can control the offset of our trees so i'm going to change the y-axis a little bit all right so um that looks good because this tree was this actually this this tree over here um was overlapping this uh fancy so i think now it's good all right so let's create this uh two ottomans over here so i think we can start by creating um maybe a cylinder uh, i think so no maybe a sphere yeah i think a sphere is going to do the job all right something like that so let's place it Oops, let's place it here. Mm. No, I don't think this field is going to do the job. Let's add a cylinder. So then you can chamfer it. So let's scale it by here. all right so okay let's do again let's place it around here i'm going to adjust the pivot um all right maybe yeah maybe around here maybe around here okay that's that's more than enough Let's add a uh, modifier, bevel modifier. Let's take a look on that. All right. Um, if there's something wrong, I'm going to convert it. Actually, not convert, but apply an auto transform to it. And let's add bevel again. Here you go. All right. something like that um here on geometry now shading we can turn on hide the normals and we're going to smooth this out yeah i think that's good so i'm going to copy and place it 
over this this other cylinder something like that all right and okay so let's create this this weaker vase um again we can create a cylinder for that all right so i'm going to adjust the size just the pivot place it in the right position oops there you go just the size something like that apply all transform and for that actually i'm going to the edit edit mode i'm going to delete the upper face yeah I'm going to select the bottom edges. So shift out and right click. Then I'm going to add a bevel right here. Something like that. And you can control the segments over here. All right. That's good. And I'm going to select uh, the upper edges. I'm going to duplicate it and release. And actually, I'm going to separate it because I'm going to transform these edges and curve actually. So convert to curve. And here on curve, we can add some thickness to it. So geometry so we have bevel oh here we go so def and increase a little bit so okay if we have our vase over here i'm going to scale down a little bit all right so i need a plant for this vase all right and I think I have a plant for this vase. Uh, let's put this orange plant. All right. So where is it? Here. So I'm going to delete this part. Let's keep this one here. all right so i'm going to clear the parent apply all transforms scale it down and bring it here all right so i'm going to place it here can scale it up something like that Let's adjust the position. All right, and you can scale this part a little bit more and scale and actually place it in the right position. Something like that. All right, so, okay, so I need to adjust a little bit more. All right, um, perfect. And I'm going to add another plant, this one here. And I'm going to use it to scatter it around here. So let me see. Where is it? okay here we go um i don't need this part uh, okay i just need this plant over here uh this one is is it the same i don't think so all right so i'm going to do the same apply the clear 
pair actually it's not the clear pair it's the clear and keep transformation and apply all transform adjust the pivot and scale it down so that's it going to scale it down a little bit more all right and i'm going to apply all transforms again because i'm going to actually scatter this uh plant around here and this one as well so let's bring it here all right there is something wrong definitely where is my plant i think this uh probably some part of that tree that plants so i'm going to delete i don't think we i don't think we need to use that so um let me delete these guys over here all right so again as i press like ctrl z i'm going to do the same thing again um all transforms and then pivot to the bottom and let's go to the scatter add-on select okay so i'm going to apply all transform to this one as well all right so now we are good to go and then i'm going to scatter this guy all right um i don't know maybe this one over here Maybe it's too much. I'm going to decrease a little bit. So, yeah. Something like that. All right. So, I think you can scatter this one over here. But before that, I'm going to actually decrease a little bit more the amount of, of the plants over here. And I'm going to scatter uh, this and this as well all right so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to select both of them alt p clear all transforms pivot to the bottom and let's do the same thing all right so now we have like more vegetation over here that's a good thing all right um definitely there is something wrong here i'm going to <laughs> control z because i now I, I notice that i have like more uh on the other side but i think it's the same okay yeah that's the same thing so what i'm gonna do is actually i'm going to detach this guy over here let me see if it's going to delete. I'm not quite sure if it's going to delete. Do I have to? Yeah. I thought. Ah. Uh, let me control Z again. All right. And I'm going to select only this part over here and separate it. All right. Here you go. Okay. yeah now i think we are good to go so let me save it okay i'm going to select this part over here and i'm going to scatter these three guys as well all right so let's scatter it let's add a little bit more here we go that's good and we have these guys these little guys I'm going to scatter them as well all right so i'm going to do the same thing i'll p clear 
all transform pivot to the bottom and let's add them here so I'm going to select maybe we can add here first all right and we just scatter it here I'm going to add more yeah but I don't think this is a good template so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to add this one over here scatter again and now I'm going to add more all right maybe it's too big so there is a scale feature over here that we can render actually the scale and let's render a little bit more yeah and i think yeah, we can decrease the overall size. So, yeah, but I think it's too much. Zero dot seven. Yeah. All right. So let's add these guys. Also, this part over here, and let's do the same thing. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to render it. All right, and zero dot five, zero dot seven, and let's add a little bit more. All right, now. Uh, actually, we don't need that much, so I'm going to remove some, so just a little, because this is going to be the soil, so, all right, let me see if I have uh, another vase that we can place here, we have one here, let me try this one. So there are a lot of plants, a lot of vegetation going on, and we need to check all of them, all the textures. So there are a lot of work to do. I'm still going to add, I think, the, the lamp, so we have some work on that, and then we can uh, jump into texture and render. So that's the fun part. I think I don't know you guys but I like that part so it's taking a little longer than I was expecting so I'm going to oh okay so it's done all right I was about to stop the video so there's no need for that anymore so I'm going to place it here and let me clear everything right. This um this Ottomans they are like too big.
All right. I think we are like almost there again. So let's just take a look on these lamps. I think I have a lamp for that. So let's create them this like this wire and then place the lamps. All right. So I'm going to add um a curve so we can start by creating this wire using the curve all right so it's going to be easy so we're going to adjust it so let's place it here So it's going to be something like that. Let's press E. So E extrudes. Let's adjust the rotation. And let's uh, hide this tree. It's going to be easy to see what's going on. So I think I can do something like this. Then I'm going to extrude again. And extrude again. And then, like on the top view, we can extrude again. So I'm going to select everything, bring it close to the fancy and, and now let's just adjust it, something like that. All right. And let's extrude this uh, on the Z axis. All right, let's adjust this here. Let's adjust the size. That's not bad. Oops. What I have done. All right. Let's do the same thing here. I'm going to extrude it here let's adjust them the rotation this rotation maybe you need to extrude again it's not good um Let's do something like that and let me extrude it here, bring it up all right so it's a little tricky but can be done all right so here we go and let's extrude it again the x-axis let's adjust the rotation all right and same thing here Right. Almost there. Maybe let's place it around here. This is a little tricky because I have to like 
play around with this um with these vertices so all right almost there all right here um let's adjust it a little bit oops something like that all right i think we are yeah, good. Let's just um, add some thickness to it. So here we have bevel again. And you can increase it a little bit. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's bring it down. Let's bring this down. Yeah. Here we go. All right. And that part, good enough. All right, so I think we are like good to move on, right? So let's add the lamps. All right, so I have actually a light fixture that I'm going to detach the the bulb from from it so um let me place it here all right so delete oops too many cameras my god um let me clear everything first all right, so then we can delete the rest. All right, so I'm going to attach these guys. Let me adjust the colors in my viewport because sometimes it can get me crazy so all right um i think i have to extrude this part over here right so let me select this part here and extrude it so something like that all right yeah i think that's the almost the size right so okay so let's place it um I'm going to adjust the pivot here really so like that's going to be easy to adjust the rotation right yeah go let's add another one here Let's adjust the rotation. Something like that. Let's duplicate again. Another one. Over here. Let's add something like that. All right. And let's duplicate again. Another one over here. 
Let's add something like that. Let me see here what's going on. Um, all right. Oh yeah, something like that. Just to trying to not be <laughs> fake, right? So, uh, and I'm going to add another one here, pointing to the opposite direction. All right, here we go. Perfect. Let me take a look again. All right, let me hide the tree. So I have these guys over here. Uh, yeah, size looks good. So I'm going to delete it. Um, delete this one over here. Oh my God. Um, okay, here you go. Uh, let's see it. the framing composition everything all right so i think we can bring the camera can bring the camera up a little bit something more like that all right we can point down the camera a little bit all right we can turn on the rule of thirds we can find it here on the composition guide so we have thirds over here all right then we can also play with this shift x oops shift y a little bit all right so we can bring the camera a little bit to to the left my left all right so like that we have one of the intersections on this tree over here oops on this tree no on this chair all right so I think that's good that's a good start so i think i'm good to go to move on to the next video all right so next video we're going to uh wrap this up so we're going to uh see what you need to texture see what you need to adjust like about textures then see lighting and then uh render it all right so thank you guys and see you in the next video.